Hi, everyone. In this video, we are going to talk a little bit about Google AdSense. Actually, we are going to fix the issues mentioned in this message here where it says earnings at risk. You need to fix some ads, TXT file issues to avoid severe impact to your revenue. If you see this message in your Google AdSense dashboard and you need to fix it, keep watching this video. I'm in my Google AdSense account and here is the message warning me about some issues with some ads txt file that apparently might stop me from getting paid. Down here, I can see the only site I have in this account. It's UpToDateSkills.com. The site has been approved. Here in the approval status, I can see that it's ready to show ads. If we go a little further to the right, though, it says down here where you have ads txt status, it says not found. If you click on the question mark, you will see what this not found means. So hit the question mark, you see not found. It means that no ads txt file was found when the site was last crawled. So we need to get to an authorized status. So let's click outside this box. According to the instructions, we can hit the button fix now and we would be able to download the txt file into our computers so that we can use it later. However, when I hit fix now, nothing really happens. So I have no downloadable txt file. So the other option I found is I went down to the website where I'm having those issues. I clicked on it. Then this window opened and this is the code I need to get into a TXT file. So I hit copy. Now it has just copied the code. Now we need to go and paste it into our website. I'm using a WordPress website. It's not inside my website that I got to fix the issue. I did test if I could see the TXT file. So you can do that too in your website. So just click slash and then write ads.txt. And in fact, it's not there. So you will get a message similar to this one saying that the ads.txt page doesn't exist. So let's create it now. I'm using WordPress and I'm hosting my site using SiteGround. And I will leave a link to SiteGround in the description below. It has been working great for me. So here is my SiteGround dashboard. I have the file manager in my pin tools, but when you open your dashboard, SiteGround or whatever host you are using, uh, and if you don't see the file manager here, just look for it in your panel, okay? In this case, if you don't find it here, you can hit site and then you will see a link to file manager. So if you click there or click here, you will go to the same place. So let's hit here. So this is the website, enter the website. Now I have three options here. We have to put our file inside this folder here where it says public underscore HTML. So you can click there and I'm, Sorry, let me go back. We can click there. So we are inside public underscore HTML folder. I tried creating a document here. So I hit the plus sign, create a new file and pasted the code that I had from my Google AdSense dashboard, but it didn't really work for me. So I'm going to show you what I did just in case this happens to you. So I went into my desktop and created a new TXT file and named it ads, ADS. So right click, hit new, and then, and then get a text document. Name it ads, ADS, and that's it. Open it. Now paste the code that you got from your Google AdSense account. And this code identifies your account so that you can get paid later. And now we can close the document. Don't forget to hit save. And here you have your ads.txt file. You see it's a text document here. 
So now you can go back to your host dashboard. Let me do that. I'm still inside public HTML, and now I'm just going to drag and drop the file that I have created on my desktop into this folder here. So let me just get it and drag it here. Well, it says here one file is uploaded successfully. That Let me just scroll down, and here it is, adds txt. So this is it. Let me close this window now. I'm going back to my website and I'm going to check if it is already there. Remember when I when I wrote ads txt uh, on my website, nothing really showed. So ads txt is there. Let me just refresh this page, and you see that the code is here. So everything seems to be working now. So the first time I follow this process, I went back to my Google AdSense dashboard hit refresh and honestly, nothing really happened. The ping bar was still there. So I got to do a little more reading uh, and I found out that uh, that I'll have to wait a couple of days before Google crawls the site again. I am back on my website now and I did wait 24 hours to check if everything worked. So I'm going back to the top to my URL and I'm going to add a slash and then ads dot txt hit enter we can see that the google adsense code is there this code identifies your account so that you can get paid later and now if you go to your google adsense dashboard that pink warning is no longer there and if you scroll down you will see that your ads txt status is authorized these steps work for me i hope they work for you too. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to get updates on new videos and to help me keep this project going. Bye-bye.